Success in farming is all about precision and efficiency, ensuring every seed, every drop of water, every nutrient and treatment counts. TerraPlex Ag is helping farmers all over Iowa and the Midwest do just that. With precision ag drone technology and support from TerraPlex, you'll boost your productivity and make timely and informed decisions, all while reducing your costs and increasing your profit. It's time to revolutionize your farming. Harvest the benefits with TerraPlex Ag. Visit TerraPlexAg.com. Don't let tomorrow's solutions get stuck on today's obstacles. Help move what matters at Iowa State. Iowa State students have big ideas. My name is Cam Schaefer. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Spock Sanctuary, which is a exotic companion animal rescue, and we provide other services in education and nutrition. And it all started with a little help from cyclones like you. What's up, friends, and welcome to Williams and Bloom Wednesday on a frantic Wednesday here in the Wild Rose Casino Studios. We are live. Uh, we needed to go this morning because there's so much going on right now. Uh, cheers to Brent Bloom Coffee. <laughs> I was just on the phone with somebody, and you've been in this world for a while now, uh, but I was like, somehow it's busier now than it was a week ago. Getting ready for the Sweet 16. It's insane right now. Totally. There, it's like every five minutes there's something There's happening. something going on. Yeah. But uh, good good things. Good things are happening. Well, I mean, really, and we're going to get into all of it. it, it if you're we'll just talking basketball, like men's basketball right now, I have learned more about the women's, and it goes slower because of visits and stuff like that, which we'll explain. Uh, we're not ignoring the women. Uh, there's no. just not as much going on there. So this is pretty much exclusively going to be a men's basketball transfer portal show. It's it's kind of like our trade deadline special. <laughs> it's very similar, yeah. Unlike MLB Network, where they flash around, oh, let's go and see what the Reds are yeah, doing. Let's, uh, let's check in and link it. Uh, we are presented, as always, by our friends at MacDyne, the MacDyne Corporation. Uh, God love them. Uh, they've been with us through thick and thin. Takes a lot. We have two of our biggest advertisers, our, our best supporters, that came on to us during covid and they said we want to support you guys and make sure that you uh can survive this and that was the mississippi river distilling company got my cody road in the That's background right. yep. and also our friends at MacDyne. so we appreciate them very very much and i also before we get into everything this is a really big day this is forever true day uh with our friends at the iowa state university foundation and I, so here's the key if you go to forevertrueday.com you can get all the scoop, but we have been challenged at Cyclone Fanatic to come up with a uh, hundred donors. Let's do it, and that should be really easy. There's like twenty thousand people will listen to this podcast today or consume it. We are going to be tweeting out links. It doesn't start until noon. I want you to click on that link so Cyclone Fanatic gets quote unquote credit for it. So we want to show them uh, the power of Cyclone Fanatic, and you know the um, hundred should not be. Difficult for us at Cyclone well, Fanatic. We got, we got four in this room. Yeah. Well, I, I'm already. So I'm, I'm gonna probably give more. Okay. Well, we so got. the thing is, too, it's like it's less about how much you give. They Correct. want to get more people. We involved. gotta get involved, everybody. That's the key. So it's forevertrueday.com. But again, I want you to click on our links that we put out. That will be right at noon. We're gonna be firing them off. I'm gonna give to the marching band because I'm a huge band guy. Huge. Noted band guy. Massive band guy. And the great thing about the Iowa State band, it follows directions. <laughs> it does. I'm going to give to the Greenlee School of Journalism. I'm going to give to Veterinary Medicine. I'm going to, as always, give to our friends at the Ivy College of Business. Lock it in. And I'm going to find one more. I, I want to give five this year. I'm going to up it. Those are the four I usually do. I'm going to find a pocket out there and give to a fifth it, and i am taking bribes so if anybody out there you got something special to you holler at me i got got to get my uh one for the call to business yep my guy james spalding michelle and team up there our guy eric bensinger yeah i love eric bensinger, department old man. athletics guy yep uh got to take care of them 
I just spoke to kids at the Greenlee School last week. Why? How have I never been invited to speak to the Greenlee School? Well, they keeping their distance from me. I I don't blame them. <laughs> you know, no, it's uh, it was great. I, actually, I don't blame the professors. In the same the the basement. <laughs> Keep keep the, that guy at an arm's length. The sleep. basement of Hamilton. Chris is not allowed in this building. No, it was good, uh, but really, really impressive folks. And honestly, I think people get this misconception that it takes hundreds of thousands of dollars no. to help. It's really the the more you can help. And if if you're listening to this, chances are you had a good Iowa State experience and you want others to have that same experience. This is a great way you can get involved. Yeah, and it's also... I mean, it's strategic too. Like they want to get as many young people involved now because they'll have money later, right? So, like, yeah, a ten dollar donation does matter because we're just getting you into the ecosystem. And I, I like their message: be a well-rounded cyclone. Like to me, and this is a little bit of the difference. I'm not trying to be petty here. It's like I have my my Hawkeye friends all the time. Will be like, what? You know, why do you guys do the Walmart joke? And it's just because when we were kids, it wasn't easy to. I wasn't an Iowa State fan. Like you got mm-hmm. picked on all the time for it, I right? Did. Like kindergarten, and and a lot of it, like it, it's um, it's special. Like we meet our spouses there. We, uh, you know, it's just not that. Clearly, Iowa has alumni too. The point is that why are Iowa State fans so like a pit bull all the time and defensive? And it's because it is more than just going to Jack Trice Stadium right. or Hilton Coliseum. Like Hamilton Hall, like to me, is one of my favorite places in the world. Would they let me? I know that they don't want me around, but would they let me like take my computer and just work in there and just sit there like the lobby looks coffee? yeah similar? I was yeah. Would I don't, they? You would, would get looked at funny. Like, what's the old guy doing? Well, here? I was like, do they have like security that Matt? That- I didn't see any. I didn't see any. I was up there last week. Now I may not be on the the list like you are, so I can't. <laughs> You're I can't, on the block. I've been blocked. You've been blocked from Hamilton. All right. Yeah. Um, let's but dig good in. day. Forever true day. I'll be, uh, you know who else I'm going to help out? Who? My brother-in-law is a professor in the industrial design department. Oh, call to design. Very nice. Love the call to design. They do some great work over there. Yeah, they do. That's always a, that's my, that was always that's the my best wheel. building. If you had a cla- they had a nice coffee, Yeah, great coffee, coffee there. in there. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's get after it. Uh, a bunch of guys commenting on my wardrobe today. I'm wearing the sport coat with my rock t-shirt. I don't understand what the hell's the problem with this. That it's is WrestleMania a, that, week. That is a combo that I would not have picked. Yeah, because you don't have with, style. I agree with JWB there. I'm I, more stylish I, than you. I, I'm just not sure the Rock and a sport coat go together. But specifically, now the irony here is the Rock doesn't have a shirt on, and yet you have a coat over his shirt, which... I'm just sitting here. Um, I think you're a step away from like a tuxedo t-shirt. Yeah, we're I'm getting just, close. You're yeah. formal. Dangerously like close. Party. Ready to party. Thank you. Aiden. And this is now for sale. Speaking of war, this is now for sale on the Ames Logger. Those books. are dope, by the yeah. way. I saw a bunch of those yeah. at our sold them at the event, event in Omaha. Yeah. And I um, I was going to buy a bunch, but I knew I probably wouldn't get home until about three in the morning. Google Ames Logger store. Oh, really? Yeah. Very impressive. Yeah. Golf. golf. Golf weather. Well, and it's getting to be beer weather, too. Beer and golf weather. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're in I beer mean, and golf weather right well, now. Well, it's not right now. It's it's brutal. Well, you have to hit that, hit it's that low stinger today. brutal here in the state of Iowa. All right, so it has been an eventful couple of days. In fact, I was telling these guys before we went on the air, I think I may have been on my phone more in the last three days than I had the last three months as far as like actual conversations with people. Uh, Bloom, this this transfer portal. So Iowa State gets, is it Heisey? Heisey. Heisey from Northern Iowa. Mm -hmm. Let's start right there. Uh, We covered all the outgoing transfers on Sunday's podcast. Nothing new has happened there. I feel like Iowa State's in a good spot with the rest of its roster. The only other one I was kind of waiting on and was like, Demarion Watson, it's like, is this a guy who's ready to go to get a different role somewhere else? But it sounds like he's good, and that's huge for me because I I think that guy's got as much upside as anyone left on the roster, like untapped upside. Uh, so I'm really happy that that he's sticking around. Heisey, Northern Iowa. This seems to me you're a better scout than me. I'm gonna give you just what I got. Yeah. Experienced guy, good body, can shoot the three ball. He's a little bit more. He's like a Momchilovich light when it comes to offensive ability, but he's a well-rounded player. 
probably more so than freshman year Milan, and he can play multiple positions. This is a guy who will impact the game even when he's not scoring points, and he's the perfect addition to the nucleus of this team. Totally agree. Okay. I think I think as a fan base, I think people are excited. I think we're we're not excited enough. I would agree. Generally, I mean, this, this is a. I know people say, "Oh, you and I." I this guy's this guy can play, and you know, everyone's like, oh, it's good depth. Not be careful. I mean, I think this guy can can give you starter quality minutes. I think he's that good. I mean, he's he's a legit six four six five. Uh, gives you positional flexibility. He can guard two through four. He rebounds at a really good rate. He his rebounding rate is better than Milan's, and and, and then he can shoot the ball as well. People are saying, okay, he's the the Jackson Pavletsky replacement. I I oh, think it's quite yeah. a bit different. Yeah, quite I would, a bit different. I would agree. I think Nate. I don't think they have that yet. Nate's one of the, is super efficient. I mean, he's one of those that doesn't need the ball, but but he you can give him the ball and he'll go get you some points. Uh, good defender, good rebounder, more athletic than you realize. Um, neat thing about Nate, his super athletic family, both of his parents played at a high level. His sister was the number one overall pick in the professional women's hockey league uh, in Minnesota. She's on the USA national team, like one of the best hockey players wow, that's cool. in the world is his sister in, um, in Minnesota, in Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah. yeah. So they're from the Minneapolis area, but Iowa state, I think you get, he is, he's going to play a lot. You know, I think people think, Oh, nice, you know, nice guy to bring off the bench. I don't sell him short. And the great thing with Nate is got, he has two years left because he had a medical register COVID there. year, right? Yeah. Is it a COVID year uh, or a medical? Medi- I think Whatever. it's a medical. I don't know. He's got two He's years. He's got left. two years. Um, but big guard, can guard all spots. And what you're going to see now from Iowa State, I think the plan is definitely, you know, always trying to get better. Iowa State saw what the Illinois and the Connecticut's of the world do. You don't want those guards who can just shoot. It's those big guards that can guard too. You yeah. know, and that was the one limitation I would say with with Pav and then a little bit with Taman as well. They're just not big. Where Heisey can come in. It gives in you and, an exercise. Exactly. Yeah. And rebound, too. Yeah. And yeah. so I think that's where you're seeing Iowa State that, just up, you upgrading know, enough in all these spots. That stood out in the tournament. Yes. Against Washington State and against Illinois. Yep. The size thing. Because it, it did. Like, I had a couple people text me who were in Boston and just be like, man, our guys look really small. Mm-hmm. They're mighty. <laughs> but yeah, they did. Like, just those line, those big long lineups iowa state was pretty small and that's why having demarion back as well is huge yes because he can be a versatile guy demarion can play some four you know even in a super small lineup he's got the length to at least bother a post so iowa state's going to be a little bit more versatile next year heisey really helps and i'm telling you he's this is not just a role player this is a good player yeah and i I just i like his versatility more than anything i i did talk to a couple of my valley sources because i was trying to get to know him a little bit more and they they told me underrated defender yeah yes is the thing like he's which is why it'd be a good fit in this particular system is they thought it would translate yep which i which i was happy to hear so that that's a that's a huge piece we also have um we also have the um Sorry, I'm texting in the middle of something right <laughs> now. Yeah. I'm getting like 15 texts too. This yeah. is we're, we're I'm telling you, we this is like our trade deadline show. We've got the kid from Charlotte who's in. So you've got two of the spots. Um, Connor, you've been working on this for us. Two or three spots left in the three spots left on the so there's the Colorado kid, Hadley, who it's down to Iowa State and Michigan State that we know of. William Kyle, the big out of S- South Dakota Dakota State, State. Iowa State, we've reported this to all of our premium subscribers. I think it's pretty much out there now. By the way, um, you guys should subscribe now. It's the best time ever to be a subscriber. They were in Omaha yesterday visiting um, William Kyle. And there is another player who I'm going to keep quiet for a little bit longer because I think he's entering the portal today that I think Iowa State has multiple connections to the, you know, the one thing Brent, I think it's important to point out with all of these additions is you already have a nucleus. That's going to put the ball in the hoop, 
right? Like, yes. so I think when you're looking at bigs, you want to you want to swing for the fences here. Some of these other guys, you really are looking at how do they fit with the rest of the guys. Correct. You don't need another Keyshawn Gilbert here. Like, there's only so many buckets to go around. That's why I like the Heisey pickup so far. Because if I'm putting a piece of the puzzle together, it's like, damn, that's exactly what they needed. Building a so roster. when you when you look at the rest, like, could use a little more shooting. And that's where Hadley comes in, right? Like these guys all have their fits with this current roster. And 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 that's what you're trying to make this core four. Five with Watson. Five with Watson. Yep. Uh, you're just trying to make them pop as much as possible. And maybe, maybe throw JT Rock into that conversation, right? Because uh, the fact that he was there a year ago and we think he's going to contribute yeah, next he'll, year. Yeah, he'll, he'll definitely contribute. No, you're right. I th- yeah, I think... You know, where the portal can really get goofy for some teams, specifically if you have a huge, and some of these programs are dealing with a lot, a lot of cash right now, um, is it's like the, uh, there's only, it's what I would call the the Oklahoma City Thunder problem or the Houston Rockets problem, where you have too many guys that want the ball all the time and egos get in the way. I think the core of what I was still trying to do is keep that culture. And you've got ball dominant guys already with, Jones, Lipsy, Gilbert. You don't necessarily need another just power guy that's going to come in and demand the ball all the time. That could actually disrupt things. So obviously it's really looking to find those perfect fits and um, very strategic about who it adds and and how they will help the greater goal. Uh, number one, everybody that that Iowa State's going to get has to play defense. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's not that's a non-negotiable. So start there and then find people that makes your team better. So what would make Iowa State's team better? I said a little bit more positional size. So the versatility of guys that can guard multiple spots bigger in general. And then you're looking at a couple more floor spacers, to be honest, whether that be from the wing spot um, at size or a big that can step out and shoot a little bit better. And I think you, you know, you're you trying to address weaknesses while still maintaining your culture at the same time. And uh, that's it's a good thing to have. I mean, a lot of these Programs are literally overhauling their entire roster. I would say at least has the base in place so they can be more selective of who fits in where and how. Rather than some of these schools, they're just bringing in talent like, we hope it works. Yeah, Iowa State knows it works. It can now just be very strategic of, of how they add on to what is already working. I'll tell you this too. I, I, I've said this a couple times, but I, I think it needs to be reiterated. I'm in Omaha doing the media scrum, walking around. And an assistant coach for a program who I've known for a long time, and I we were having a cup of coffee together. And he says to me, he goes, "Crit," because he's admiring what Otzelberger's done. And he goes, "The most important thing in the world right now, in what we do, it's not NIL dollars. It's not. Um, he's like, it's not even talent. And you got to have talent, but it's not even that. He goes, it's it's chemistry." He goes, we see so many of these teams right now, and the guys have no chemistry out on the court with one another. And they're all he goes, it reminds me of watching AAU. Yep. A lot of these teams right now, because these these coaches are, are are so obsessed across the country of just stockpiling as many players as possible, yes. and they're recklessly spending this money that sometimes they don't even have. He says the most important he goes, that's what I see when I look at Iowa State is that they are all moving in the right direction together. It was interesting. So on that point. Uh, NC State talked about it. What changed NC State season? One of the guys said this week is, we actually just sat sat down and said enough fighting about all this stuff. Let's actually get along, uh, play together, and leave all the money and everything else aside. And he's like, when that happened, our season turned around. Uh, you're still dealing with. I think sometimes there the money is real, but you, you're still dealing with 18 to 22 year olds mm-hmm. and it just, there's life that gets in the way. I mean, there was always distractions in college. Now there's additional uh, distractions. And so yeah. finding that ability to get along is huge because somebody's not going to be happy with your role and NC state, I guess there was a bunch of infight. And then eventually the big fella got them all together and said, enough guys, like this is all, this is going to blow up or we're going to have to get together and it's working for them now. But that, continuity and that togetherness it it still means something and that's where iowa state has to because obviously we can't outspend everybody speaking of that um i actually heard a story about nc state today that so they're playing in the final four this weekend they had to rush back from portland were they in portland um gosh. wherever they were at. they weren't in boston so they they would have had to were they in la i don't know where, wherever nc state it doesn't matter yeah 
posting transfers on Monday, Tuesday, flying to the final four on Wednesday. Like the schedules, what? it's not sustainable. Well, like what we're doing. Well, here. and then the other thing, there's a this is dead period coming up on, on Thursday. Thursday. And then it's dead for a week yeah. because of the final four. Right. Which dead period means you can't visit. You can still make phone calls. Yeah. So, so what like will have stuff will. Still what happen. I believe is going to happen with Iowa State is finishing up this week's visits. Um, and then there's going to be the dead period. And my guess is right after the dead period, William Kyle will come on his visit. Okay. And then my other player to be named later. Got it. Yeah, because and the reason play. I'm being secretive there is because I'm not 100 percent sure. And the last thing I want to do is just throw out. I'm I'm 90 percent sure. It's not worth it. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's just not. Right. Last so, thing that you need to do is get a slap on the wrist for somebody who's not. Well, uh, and it's it's a young man's future. Right. Like <laughs> right. if he's not going to enter the portal or something like that, and then I throw his name out there. And the the thing is now, like we and I and I've picked up on this. We've got this situation now where this is like, it's like what the hot stove league would have been in like 2000 when baseball was popular, or <laughs> it's like NBA free agency where you just get done with this super exciting season. Everybody's fired up about the future of Iowa state basketball. And now, Oh, we're going to hit free agency for half of our roster to see if we can take our top 10 team in the top five. And, and, and there's like this reality TV aspect to it. Yeah. Where the you know the, like the NBA is kind of like the Instagram league, right? Like what's what's Tyrese going to post? What's he wearing today? Is Bloom sitting here texting yeah, during the during the show? No, it's fine. I've been doing the same. I just posted a Patreon update. So, anyways, things are happening. Good good times. Uh, and this this is actually really fun for me. I wish that I don't want every week to be like this, but th these are a good time when you're a, when you're a journalist trying to do this. I want to thank a couple of our great sponsors who we would not be here without. First of all, we mentioned them, the Ivy College of Business at Iowa State. I want to shout out to their online MBA program, award winning one. It is not too late. If you need to get that master's, you can do it online. You can. What are you laughing at? Not, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I might need a master's. Ivy College of Business at Iowa State. They've been a longtime supporter of what we do here on Cyclone. You're getting a gift for me today. Yeah, they're getting a gift from Bloom on That's Forever right. True Day. Right. I, I want to give them one, too. They're getting two gifts. By the way, Maddie Van Winks texting me, uh, says I need to give that fifth gift to the, our friends at the Alumni Association, which is yeah, that's a part very, of the good very point. worthy cause. I uh, love my friends at the – shout-out to Jeff Johnson, my main man. Cyclones everywhere. Okay, also, our friends at Gravitate Coworking. Check them out at gravitatecoworking.com, your number one source for coworking here in the metro thank you jeff wood for sponsoring us and his beautiful wife hope wood will in a day i told you guys to go and get your wills if any of you had loved ones who had heart attacks at that game against illinois and they died i'm sorry i told them to go get wills i know that is a morbid sponsorship read but it's the truth we got to take care of ourselves we got to take care of our families when we're gone hopewoodjd.com is that too far did i go too far i'm gonna be honest if if I had a heart attack, I, I hope my will is in place. Yes. I mean, it is dramatic. You are known to do that, <laughs> but it's the fact remains you better have one. Uh, NG. You don't want your kid to go like to some cousin you don't like. Couple of right. uh, quote uh, people watching live on YouTube right now. The real journalists of Central Iowa on a TV show for that. That, that would get literally dozens of viewers. Yeah, that would be brutal. That'd be bad. Brutal. Can you imagine falling around? Uh, Following me around would be the most boring thing ever. Oh, he's on his phone again. Oh, he pulled up with his laptop. Oh, he's drinking a name's lager. <laughs> That's oh, it's typical Wednesday. Awesome. Typical Wednesday. Yeah. It's all Wednesday at 11 yeah. o'clock. Yeah. Okay. I'd fall around Connor Ferguson, though. No, that would be that a would, trip. Yeah, that you just don't know what, what buckle, fun he's going to get into. Buckle the hell up. It, you know, it could be a. Arena football game one day, you're going to a dirt track the next, and that's entertainment right there. Following the women's basketball yeah, team it just around. Yeah, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay, so real quick, uh, the women's thing. I have had some of our subscribers ask what's going on there. Here's the situation. They can't do, like, in-home visits. W what in the hell is the rule differences between the men and the women? Are you familiar with it? Because there are rules different. And the women's transfer period moves much slower. Yeah, I just know they're different. Okay, I, I, yeah, I don't know all the specifics, but um, 
I don't know the difference. Steve Kemp says, I'm not given to the school of journalism until they invite CW to speak. <laughs> I've, I've, I've spoken to clubs. I've never gotten the official journalism school invite. What about they're your... just trying to keep me at a distance. I get it. No. So here's... Oh, we got this alum. He's known for drinking whiskey. He's a, you know, he's an anti-traditional okay. journalist. We don't want anything to do Let with me, this guy. Uh... They think you're shady over there, man. <laughs> they do. I told you about the one when I told someone I had a job. And they're like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Is your they're... boss kind of shady? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> they yeah, said to Aiden, they're like, make sure you get your paychecks on time. What the? F you're making like twice as much as most of those recent. So, no, here's what they're there. waiting for. So, this is the old, uh, this is out of the, the fundraising playbook. I'm not giving them a gift. What? I don't have enough money. Hold on. Hold on. They're waiting for you to hit it big. And then, so. Whenever, if you had a, and then they're gonna acknowledge, and then me. you'll invite, then you, it's hey, we'd love to get you involved, and then when you come back, yeah. then it's yeah, you're gonna have to speak to this class. Yeah, yeah, oh, we're gonna have a meeting with the dean, <laughs> and then oh, you know, what about a scholarship, Chris? Oh yeah, have you ever thought about? Would you consider helping out the next? Well, generation? I actually have. I yeah, want to do the thing with the so Iowa State go. Daily. So my guy, my guy Jens, who works in liberal arts and sciences, let's set up a visit for Williams. He'll do a scholarship. I'll kick in on the scholarship, Jens. Come on. One second we're just, here. We're just, we're just making the foundation roll forever true day today. You breaking news? No, I'm Are you I'm, like Aiden's, Adrian Aiden's Wol gonna, yeah. well, I, Wojner I, I kinda Wojnarowski? Am. Tony calls me the DX of journalism. Thank you. Boom. Suck it. I don't understand what that means. So they were these... Pro wrestlers. I know. I remember. Remember that. DX? They'd run around telling people to suck their. I, yes. Yeah. The Zach McCabe's of, um, of journalism. Or, oh, uh, anyways, uh, they were kind of like the outlaws. Yeah, they, okay, they were known as like the the renegades. Who was the, that? Like, and had, then the old time wrestlers didn't like them. They had the long hair, right? Yeah, it was Shawn Michaels. Shawn, my it was uh, Triple H. Who was the young guy that? The one, two, three kid, X Pac. Yeah, X, X Pac, yeah. And then you had the New Age Outlaws. Oh, you didn't know. Yeah, good times, man. Can't beat that. All right. Um, but yeah, women's basketball, back to get it back to the professional yes. realm here. They do have a couple spots that they will will try and add to. Um, and but it's I'm telling you, CW, NI, the NIL game and the high end for women's basketball, as proven by I think the attention that women's basketball is getting, I, you were six months behind. I would say women's basketball compared to men's basketball. It, it is starting to really pick up. I mean, if you want an elite talent in the portal for women's basketball, the price is almost the same as in men's basketball because they can really, you know, a, a player of those stature can make a huge difference. And you just saw actually yesterday. This women's game, man, it's a rocket ship. It is. Well, the so uh, all-American player from Virginia Tech point guard, um, she declared for the WNBA and also entered the portal at the same time. I mean, it is these decisions are, and she'll get on the market. Somebody's going to pay her a couple hundred thousand dollars, if not more. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not, these are not small, small And that's dollars. just going to keep going up and too with just, the visibility of the women's game absolutely, growing. Absolutely. And you're, I mean, like I saw like the Tennessee coach got fired and she made four NCAA tournaments. I mean, it's getting competitive. It's, it's, it's already there. I think people are realizing that in Tennessee's got some tradition clearly, so they're maybe not the perfect example that having a, a competitive women's basketball program can really add additional attention. I'm totally with you. We've seen that Iowa State's been successful for yeah. 25 years. It's nothing new for Iowa State fans. Iowa State fans were supporting it. But I think a lot of these other athletic programs are starting to realize, holy cow, this is not just a, another sport. This is closer i would say to football men's basketball than it is the olympic sports i just think too with women's basketball and wrestling specifically yeah wrestling as well is the streaming is really just brought it to a whole new level now it may not it, like you still have to work to find these games right you have to pull up espn plus and but like if for instance like i can't tell you how many times this year i've been at my been waiting on my daughters at dance streaming women's basketball games on my phone it's like it's so much easier to consume if you Great want point. it and everything's on yeah, yeah and the so the diehards can just become more diehard because of that and yeah. it used to be so much more difficult yeah and it's it's a great product i was 
I like well, probably like a lot of people clearly because of the TV numbers. I was locked in on Monday night. Those are two really, really oh, just fantastic fun games. Uh, Kaylee, real quick, is at the uh, Greenlee School of Journalism. She says, uh, "Love to have me come speak," and the commons are always open if I want to go work there. Oh, oh, look at thank That's you, just Kaylee. Lovely, thank you very much, Kaylee. That made my day. I was <laughs> joking with it. Did you get it? Uh, it is WrestleMania week, so we we've got a theme. This is me walking into Who's Cody it? Rhodes. Who's this guy? It's Roman Reigns. Who? Acknowledge me. <laughs> All right, you can kill him. That's his. That's his catch Louis. He just goes around. Acknowledge to, me. He goes to. He goes around to every town he's in. He says, "Acknowledge me." It's like Hawkeye, that's the Rock's cousin. It's like Hawkeye Twitter. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm just kidding too, Kaylee. I'm not a this is fantastic. Uh, I love the Greenlee School of I, Journalism. And you're, we're going to be making a gift forever. True yeah, we're making a gift right there on Forever True Day. Okay, so <sighs> anyways, I, I'm i kind of lost. Oh, I, I wanted to talk about the Mayo Kid from in our, yeah. in our Wiffles Hybrids Big 12 segment yes. here. Thanks to Plant Your Independence, Plant Wiffles, baby. Uh, Mayo, the kid that Iowa State went up against in the NCAA tournament, yep. commits to Kansas. Yeah, which we knew he was going portaling. I I told people that before the game that he wouldn't be there next year because I had sources telling me he's already gone. Um, and boy, he I mean he hit the jackpot there. You go from the Summit League to Kansas, and they're not done. Like I've been. It's it's no it's no uh, mystery in the portal world. Kansas is out for they're ready to go. They're lot so they've got him. They got the right. They got the cool kid from Florida who was a starter for Florida. I'm telling you guys, they are building two starting fives. That is the goal for Kansas, and they have the resources to do that. Um, it, it may all be really good there. He's from Lawrence. It's actually kind of a neat story. He's going home. That's the one thing. The, the portal from that regard is is pretty neat. Uh, I I've actually there's a lot of actually D two kids that are now getting a chance at D one allows them to do this now. So you're seeing these stories of kids going up, which is which is cool. I mean that's a nice part of it. Is it is it healthy in a lot of ways? No, it's not. But if you prove yourself at a at a lower level, you're going to get a chance now at a high major. And there's been so many success stories of people who have moved up that would not have been able to do is, that 20 years ago. Is there a worse job in college athletics now than the low to mid major no, college basketball I, coach. Well, and you, like you, you feel bad for the Western Kentuckys. Yeah. Like, so like they, they just lost their coach and I don't blame the coach. You can't win there right now. It's impossible. Well, because that's why you I, never have a good player. You're going you're gonna to leave. I would rather be like where Henderson is in Brookings where then maybe even like a mid-level Valley job right now. Yeah, because those it's a lot easier to bring a freshman into the Summit League and have success. True, than it is because the Valley's still old. You know, like it's yeah, I know. But I, what I'm saying though is the Valley to me. The only thing about the Valley is you can go and get a, um, what's his name, uh, Jelani Hamilton. Yeah, right. You can get the guys right. dropping down yeah. a level. Yes, more. Yes. Where it feels like the summit and those types of leagues you're having to just, I don't know. I, I, all right. Sorry about that. If you're watching live, uh, internet problems here. Hold um, on. How the hell is this my fault? Everyone in the comments saying this is. Oh, well, you're the producer. Ah, well, you're the I don't production. The internet. You're the production professional. Well, professional is a stretch. With too many phone calls. Yeah. We'll wrap this thing yeah. up before we blow up. <laughs> I want to thank a couple more of our sponsors, Kelderman Manufacturing, as always. Pr appreciate you, brother. Uh, Kelderman.com, laser cutting. If you're out there, uh, I know our friends with MacDine are doing business with with Kelderman well, now. Cyclones helping cyclones. <sighs> All right. Um, yeah. So listen, just stay up to date with what we're doing right now. This is just a crazy time. It's it's a really exciting time. We also have spring football going on. We're not forgetting about that. We're yeah, going to do a lot of spring football in the next couple of weeks. There's a lot of exciting stuff. A lot going of on good there. stuff happening there. They're really excited about a lot of these young guys and it sounds like a couple of the transfers that came in are going to help immediately i put a big update on premium about that on monday i believe do you have anything else to add to that i would say 
get prepared for a little bit more uh, downfield action. I would say it's got some some threats now. Well, I was told that to me this wasn't like breaking news, but the Higgins deal, like he, Elite. well, yeah, like in I think he probably could have been drafted this year. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, we're man, we're lucky to have him. We're lucky to have him. And then Benny's coming on, you know, on that on that other side. I love that kid. So he and he had a that big catch in the Liberty he Bowl. He did. I, I mean, obviously it's gonna have some dudes. And then the You know the one I heard, uh, which is having a really good spring is and I'm I'm happy to hear this. I pointed him out to you yeah. last year when the first time I laid eyes yep. on him and I was I was in love with John Tez Williams. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, that guy has it. And then he gets thrown out there, and he kind of got abused. I believe it was against Texas, who or whoever yep. they picked on him a little bit in Kansas. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Fans got a little down. I'm telling you, he's a pro. Well, he's he, he's gonna have to step up because he's the TJ Tampa. Well, I, I I'm telling you yeah. that they're telling they're, me that he's had a really good spring totally. in the in it. But it part of it's just you know there's technique and all that stuff. But yeah, like yeah. at that position, if you have that body type. And I think people forget. Iowa State still has a big old tackle coming in that's not there yet. Jalen Travis, uh, the Princeton yes. kid. So, well, and the other one I heard was Dylan Barrett is yeah, he's an awesome dude, by the way. Is he a good guy? Oh, he's a great guy. He, but he's pushing at center. Yep. Yes, good things. I know people are already going. Okay, it's Williams at the offensive line again. I hear it. <sighs> I don't ever hype. I, him. I, I'm literally I hear it. telling you guys. I I'm I'm reporting what Matt Campbell says every year at Media Day. Blame the coach. I and I also think we learned pretty well last year that your scheme. This is what Mike Leach and Hal Mummy have been saying for thirty freaking years. Your scheme has more to do with it than the line. And their scheme was awesome last year. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, we're running for three hundred yards against BYU. The line's not any different. So the the freshman that came in from Arizona is already on campus. Uh, yes, he's gonna be good too. Well, and I also heard yeah. um, the, the that the little Michigan. scat back yeah. is he's 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 legit. He's legit. Well, he's the kick returner, right? Yep. yep. Him and Noel. Yep. And you get Jalen back too, who is also fantastic. So good things happening. We'll we'll get more into football. Spring football game is on April twentieth, right? Yes, that's Saturday. So and it's open to the public, and there might be new uniforms revealed. That was not an April Fool's <laughs> joke. I don't know what's going to be at that, but so for real, I didn't even like pick up. You're on back that. in the uniform game. Well, and not by choice. I I retired from that. I passed the torch to Connor, and, and of course, you know Connor had a post up about that in ten seconds, <laughs> right? Uh, no, I so I did a little ask. Like I'm like, hey, everybody thinks this is a joke. It's not a joke, and then. The football program decided to play a joke on me where I had like two people telling me it was a joke and two people telling me it wasn't. <laughs> so my head was like spinning. I'm like, God damn it, guys. I don't like, have time for this. Portal season. I, I don't have time for this right now. My phone's blowing up. There's a million things happening. And all my people care about are the freaking Uniform. football uniforms. <laughs> And they look cool. I like they, the stripes. I like, I, I, I I'd think like it, to see what they actually look like. And I do have a hunch of what the fourth one is. Mm. It's pretty dope. Mm. And it's not blue. Mm. No throwbacks. I asked to... about the blue throwbacks sure, and was sure, given blue. a staunch no. Hey. And then they gave me the DX sign. <laughs> Kicked Chris, me out of the office. Uh, is that Chris Jericho? Was he part of those? No. Or is he, a different he was guy? his own man. Gold Dust. Y2J. Gold Dust. Wasn't Gold Dust the Co guy? Gold Dust is Cody Rhodes' brother. Like in real, real life. Yeah. How about that? I'll be damned. I'll be damned. All right, uh, let's get out of here. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We apologize the we apologize for the uh Aiden fail. There's hashtag Aiden fail going on in the comments section right now. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. <laughs> if you don't have haters, you're not doing your job. God bless you. Aiden. Aiden pays attention. Evolve or die. <laughs> Be paranoid. All that good, all the good stuff. All the really to be honest, terrible mental health lessons that I grew up like teaching myself, and now I wish I wouldn't have done it. Remember, here's something to live by, everybody. Just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they aren't chasing you. <laughs> How about that? Appreciate it. Uh, signing off from the Wild Rose Casino Studios. Go out and buy yourself a six pack of Ames Lagers to help celebrate these and help 
help Bloom pay these guys. More important. Cheers to that. Right. Get, and by the way, those We Will pizzas are legit. They're great. The breakfast pizza is unbelievable. My guy, Timmy Creaseman, he's so a legend. I, I got that. And then, so I, I had it in two meals. I had one of them one night, and then I had it for, you know, I, you know, you know what Creole is? Cre yeah, Creole. Yeah. yeah. You put sprinkle, Creole on. Sprinkle a little bit of that on. It gives a little pop. Uh, so it should be available. It's available. It's really freaking good pizza. We'll put, I'll put out words of it. It's, it's now in Pleasant Hill, uh, high Yeah, I've seen it around it's, a lot more. Uh, and, and we're, we're discussions, discussions to have it potentially available. At Jack Trice this fall. Oh, where they can buy full pizzas like personal pan types. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see. That's really cool. Anyway. All right. He's Brent Bloom. Thanks to Aiden Wyatt for, uh, producing this monstrosity of a Wednesday pod. <laughs> Love you all. And uh, we appreciate you. We will be back on Sunday night, probably earlier if anything crazy happens. For Brent Bloom, I'm Chris Williams. So long. Have a great Wednesday.